Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this week I'm having to send my computer for repairs so the review will be less produced in general, but I still want to get my thoughts out there for this episode regardless. This is episode 107 of the Journeys anime and it's titled, Help Us Big Bro Yamper. By the title, you know it's a Yamper related episode. How is it? Well, let's find out. This episode is basically the most filler type of filler, so the fact that my computer wasn't working this week isn't a big deal. Basically, the episode shows how Yamper has become the big brother to everyone in Cerise Park. It helps find out when situations arise and helps stop them. In this day, it helps find Grookey Stick when it gets lost somewhere in the park. It gets Heracross back with Pinsir when it goes to follow Sweet Scent of Grass Pokemon. It then stops a fight between Rock types and the smaller, normal type and the flying type that usually are with Golurk. And they try to find out why the rock Pokemon that are usually by the river are fighting with the normal Pokemon. Turns out the river is polluted and causing Bruxish to make a crazy high pitched noise and disturbing the rock Pokemon there. That's causing them to go over to where the normal type usually are and that's what's causing the fight. This is where we find out that Yamper is apparently also a scientist because he brings a Vibraba to use Supersonic to counter the waves of Bruxish's noise and cause it to go quiet. I... I don't even know what to say. Regardless, why is the water polluted? Well, the reason for that is because there's muck living by the water source, because it gave its home to the newly caught Froki. So seeing this, Go helps decide to make it a new home. Using a whole bunch of its Pokemon, he helps dig for a hole, and when it comes time to fill it with water, that's when Suicune reappears. It uses Rain Dance to help fill up the hole, as well as cleans up the polluted river in the park. It then goes up to Yamper and does... something. I'm not sure what it was supposed to be, maybe it's just like nuzzling it? I don't know. But apparently Suicune is just appreciating Yamper for being a leader. It then leaves as the pool fills up giving the muck a new home and that solves the issue because the rock Pokemon are no longer where the normal Pokemon are because the Bruxus is no longer screaming at the river. And at the end of the episode, Ash gets a notification on his phone that he'll be facing Raihan for a chance to enter the top 8 of the Masters 8. That's where we end the episode. This is a fine episode. Nothing good, nothing bad, I don't really even have much to say. I guess it was cool seeing Suicune again, and similar to Legends Arceus, it does show how capturing a legendary isn't like the games where you just carry it around the entire time. In both the anime world and technically even in the Pokemon world, you capture a legendary but you let it do its own thing. That was good to see here. I guess the one positive thing is that the music for this episode was really good at the end of the episode and Yamper finally got some screen time. There's nothing really negative to say, it's just an alright episode. Overall I'd give it a Pokeball rating. The next episode, Ash meets with Greninja to help train Lucario for the Masters 8 match against Raihan. It looks like the Greninja appearance will just be a one-off because in the next episode preview, it shows Greninja still cutting the roots, which was the reason that Ash left it behind originally. Regardless though, I can't wait. But anyways, that is it from our review of episode 107 of the Journeys anime. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. In the comments, let me know your thoughts on this episode. You can follow me on Twitter at TheRealPDGaming, and that is it. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.